Thank you, everyone. Um, I was backstage when uh, Justin, Dr. Feinstein was talking, and I know when he said, guess the part of the brain, I was like, boom, it's the right anterior part. I just, I knew that right off the bat. But um, um, I'm super excited for lunch. That's, that's the primary. I'm super hungry. I'm sure everyone is. Um, but I'm the uh, CEO of FloatPod Technologies and also the founder of TrueRest Franchising. Um, and we can go ahead and start this video. So I basically have a video presentation for you uh, once this comes on screen. So, you know, I could not be more excited to share space with everyone today. We just finished, believe it or not, our very first TrueRest conference yesterday. We had 30 attendees representing 45 locations. So think about that for a minute. TrueRest as an entity is similar in size to where the entire industry was back in 2010. We have new pods. Uh, Filter 2.0 is being released. Uh, I'll have a podcast or tour beginning soon with a float pod in our, in an, on an RV, which will be super cool. I have a new book coming out called Floating on Purpose, how to make six figures in the float pod industry, change lives, and make anything possible. And believe it or not, I used to have purple dreadlocks and was a super hippie, and now I'm somehow the founder of two companies. I have no idea how that happened. So um, in 2010, Holly and myself did everything we could to open a float spa. We maxed out credit cards. Uh, we sniffed glue from the walls off. Don't, don't become a shower sniffer, it's not good. Uh, and we hand-built much, much of our floors, our showers, our rooms, like a lot of people getting started did. Uh, and this was really a labor of love. And painting takes a lot longer than people th uh, think. And as you can see, we did 4,600 4, floats back then. In 2012, we nearly lost our spa, and it was a miracle that we were able to find a new location and establish our client base. In 2012, by ourselves, we did about 5,000 floats. So we have gone through all the pitfalls of opening spas. We are continuously testing and tracking our marketing. We have substantiated build-out materials and have a truly heart-centered team to help in all areas of opening and operating a float spa. We as the franchisor are the facilitators, and truly, our franchisees are the stars. We, we are all learning from each other, and collaboration makes us a cohesive and always improving team. Uh, 2013 was an interesting year. We did 6,480 floats, and in 2014, that was actually our last solo year, and we did 8,881 floats in that year. Uh, and 2014 is the year we actually started franchising. In 2014, Dale and Lori Bell signed on, and they have three locations open in the greater Sacramento, California uh, area. So proud of those guys. Uh, Pat and Heather with three locations in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, still in 2014, Alden and Dr. Laura sign up and open Gilbert, Arizona. In 2015, franchisees began opening. Uh, Sedona opens with Chuck and Renee. Scottsdale opens, and this is considered our second corporate store. We have Dr. Martha and Walter open. Uh, and this is the fifth location in Arizona. Uh, in 2015, we as the brand do over 20,000 floats, and we're very proud about that. Uh, 2016 is a huge year. It's going to be a huge year. Chandler is next on the map with Jill and John. Janelle and Josh open Wilmington, North Carolina this month in August. They're just finishing their build-out. Uh, we have Scott DeLorenzo completing his build-out in Brick, New Jersey. Chuck and Gigi are opening five locations in Texas, Austin. The Tyre brothers in Cleveland, Ohio, will start opening in 2016 with three locations. Jeff and Noah have signed up for five locations in Detroit. Mark and Kimberly are opening five total locations spanning Nebraska and Kansas. We have Jim and Maria opening one true rest in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's awesome. Chico, California is owned by George and Veronica. And then we have Dr. Tim Scott opening in Toledo, Ohio. And this guy has more degrees than I can imagine. Uh, we have Biltmore with Jennifer and Tom. So in attendance, our prospects for True Rest Spas uh, in attendance are from Chicago, Utah, Charlotte, North, Charlotte, North Carolina. And we have done 30,000 floats this year. And we estimate nearly 40,000 by the end of this year. In early 2017, we plan on opening our first model spa inside of LA Fitness with many, many more to come. 
and we are super excited to integrate floating directly into the mainstream. I think this is a big step, honestly, for all of us in the industry. Um, we're geared up to service 98,000 floats in 2017, and by 2019, as a brand, we will have completed 1 million total floats since our inception. And that was always a huge goal for me. So I just wanted to share a little bit that how as an industry can we continue our success, both fiscally and purposefully? Uh, these are insights we have found with our TrueRest franchisees. Uh, franchisees. Pride of ownership is absolutely essential. And passion is in the form of nearly infinite focus on every detail of the spa, including the marketing, the experience, the cleanliness, and customer interactions is what makes all of this work. So we truly make the spa a living and collaborative space. We say the spa is yours when you're here. This is a place of relaxation. Clients need to feel at home to let their guard down. So collaboration on a brand-wide level accelerates enhancements as well as creativity. We truly serve from the heart and we want to stay client-focused. We believe life gives to the giver and takes from the taker. So we, as a brand, we give to our clients, we give back to our community, we give out free floats to referral sources. I seriously haven't paid for coffee in like seven years, it's awesome. Uh, so share and love floating. Pick up the phone, pick up the phone and remind your clients to come and float. Remember their name, look them in the eye and introduce yourself as their new friend. Uh, I really believe as this industry grows, what is going to differentiate ourselves and yourselves from competitors down the street uh, isn't necessarily pods, rooms, and tanks. All of these will become mainstream, uh, and these will become, or stop becoming the primary differentiator. I believe we are the key, and you are the key to your own success. Um, at TrueRest, memberships continue to be our bread and butter. We convert anywhere from 15 to 25 percent of all new clients into recurring monthly members. So ask us uh, how we do that after, uh, during lunch. So this is, wow, is this real life? So we started designing this pod about two years ago, and we actually teased this concept. We actually brought a life-size model. Uh, this is us doing the layup, and it was inspired by the flower of life, and we were literally using those sacred proportions in scaling the pod. Uh, we use naturally occurring basalt fiber instead of fiberglass, because uh, uh, it's uh, natural, and then we use a non-toxic epoxy. Uh, the EMF blocking properties of this are truly extraordinary. Uh, the door opens with a patent pending hinge, and sound healing integrations will become standard. Uh, this pod is only available to TrueRest franchisees. Uh, we have also begun testing and will soon release Filter 2.0, which I just codenamed the Juggernaut. Uh, this has a 200% increase in our flow rate, uh, a 4.5 turnovers in 20 minutes, and custom filter configurations to get through your local municipalities. Uh, we have truly stepped up our game with the filter system. The in-pod system is still available for those with limited space. So we all contribute to what makes up the soul of the float industry. Uh, whether we wear t-shirts or collared shirts, we have master's degrees or no degrees, long hair, clean shaven, tattoos, no tattoos, Every human being has his heart on floating, I believe, is a spark for our industry. And all of these sparks make up the greater spirit of floating. Uh, and I truly believe there is an awakening consciousness that is present throughout all. Um, I also want to say I appreciate our community for holding myself and my company to live and truly embody a higher standard. And publicly, this is my vow to do good in our world and be a part of the greater float community. So please check out our booth. Uh, and get to know our beautiful franchisees that are all here. And uh, let's enjoy lunch. Thank you very much.